All right, it's time once again for a... So we're gonna go check out at home, see if they have any Halloween yeah, stuff out. They don't have a whole lot out yet, but some of the stuff they have out is some cool stuff, inflatables. And she's talking about my friend. And brother wants everything in the store. And I like my friend so much. And they come to a long time ago. I really like this tree, but I'm not seeing a price on it anywhere. It's a cool Halloween tree. It's a tinsel tree. And it comes with lights, but I don't see a price. We're gonna have to take it to a scanner. If it's like 20 bucks, I'll get it. So far, there's not a whole lot out. Pretty empty aisle. Brother, hey brother. Brother's getting wild on me here. You see lots of empty shelves in this particular at home. And Grandma likes like. I'm on the fence about getting that. Those are cool for 20 bucks. That's a cool soap dispenser that's going to be coming home with us. They have ghosts and cats and a skeleton driving a truck. There's a big pumpkin. Most of the yard deco and lights is what's out right now. Yeah, some hanging decor. Brother and his pumpkins, just like me. Brother and his pumpkins. He loves pumpkins just like his dad. Pumpkin face. No pumpkin face. Get out and This is a really cool yard sign for 20. There's a cat one, a ghost one, and I really, that's probably my favorite is the truck one. Ah. And here's the lights. Ah. Steak lights. Ah. Candles, everything's kind of mixed in because I don't think it's all set up yet. Here's this thing. The kids love these things too. The projectors. <laughs> Over on this side is some like tableware. And I don't like those guys. It's like mom grabbed something. What is that? I light up something. I'm picking this up even though you can't test these out in the stores because there's no batteries. So I'm taking a chance buying these. And you don't know what they actually look like lit up. Dad. Really like this guy for 70 bucks. He's cool. If I had more a little more room I would probably I'm happy. Room. I'm happy. Two. That's not a bad looking candle for seven ninety nine. That's really cool. I think I'm gonna get this for seven ninety nine. Something for outside. Grandma and Autumn pick something out. I'm picking up one of these. Only seven ninety nine. The colors. I just Back. see those for now. Again with the light up stuff and you can't test it because there's no batteries. So it could be dimly lit or it could be great. I really like that but I'll wait till it goes on sale. So we're at the second Michaels today. Hopefully we're gonna have better luck at this one. The other one didn't have no villages. Not for villages yet. I'm pretty sure I hear them, Autumn. I think I hear them over here. I hear them. Do you hear them? It's over there. Oh. Yeah, it is. There they are. I forgot to get one yesterday. We're going to get that one. Oh, no. 
I'm gonna pick out another one too that I missed out yesterday. I didn't get that one yesterday. But what do you want? Okay. I'll do a quick rundown of just the villages. The last straw for 50. Look at Garden Company for 160. Side. No, could be different. No, oh, they are cool. I like them. Yeah, me too. And this is a look down the Halloween aisle. This is all picks and wreaths and wreath hangers and accessories. Autumn and I are going to be doing a fall wreath here shortly. We just got to pick out the stuff we want to use for it. And there she is. I'm going to get this thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but this is really nice. Really nice, huh? <laughs> All right, so as you've seen in the video, they did not have a whole lot out at the at-home store. They had a little bit out, but it doesn't seem like they're quite ready to have everything out for the 2023 season yet. I know it's only the middle of July, so I'm pushing it, but I thought I'd go out and see if they had any Halloween stuff there anyway. I did pick up this, and it's, uh, it's just a light-up pumpkin. It says it lights up. Unfortunately, the at-home store, their light-up stuff does not come with batteries, so I wasn't able to see what exactly lights up on this piece. But! But! It's a cool little thing, so for the 20 bucks, I spent the 20 bucks. I do have batteries here, so I'm going to test it now. So lesson learned for me, I'm going to start taking these batteries with me to the at-home store so I can test this stuff out to see if it's worth the money or not. Because when I grabbed this, I assumed that the pumpkin itself lit up. But looking closer, I'm pretty convinced that the pumpkin doesn't light up. But these bats probably do. So I want to find out right now. If this thing sucks, I'll just return it to at home since I'm probably heading there this weekend anyhow. But we will find out together. Oh. It ain't going to be returned, I can tell you guys that. This ain't going to be returned for sure. That's nice. I'm, I'm going to dim the lights so you guys can get a better look at it. In the words of Cousin Eddie, this is just a really nice surprise. This is a surprise, Clark. <laughs> this is just a real nice surprise. Look at that. I was afraid that 
the bats would be the part that lit up on this because there's no indication on this tag as to what lights up. It says lights up, but it does not indicate what lights up. So this was a blind purchase and it does pretty much what I was hoping for it to do. I was kind of hoping it would just light up, but it not only lights up, but it changes colors. On this side, there's a haunted house. This side's got a spooky tree with the graveyard running along the bottom. Coming around the side. Black Halloween cat with the very Halloween credits esque pumpkin there in the bottom. Right around back to the spooky tree and the bats on the top. Again, this is $19.99, available at home. Does not include batteries, but I have learned my lesson and I will pack batteries with me the next time I go shopping at home just in case something like this should catch my eye and I want to test it out. So as for our first at-home item, $20 light-up pumpkin, I'm glad that I purchased this. I give this one a thumbs up. Yeah! Glad that I got it. And yeah, 20 bucks is a little bit pricey in my opinion for just something like this, but being the Halloween fanatic that I am, pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns and all that stuff I love having in the house, especially around Halloween time. So for me, this is worth 20 bucks. So that's item number one. So this is simply a pillar candle decorated with a wall of skulls. This was also purchased at the at-home store. And you see here, price tag of $7.99. The four inch candle. Basically with the repeat image all the way around. And it's a bleeding candle according to the label. So $7.99 at the at-home store. We have yet another at-home purchase. This is a 65-inch pencil pumpkin tree. Meaning this is a Halloween garland tree. It lights up. And it's about six and a half feet, I guess. Because it has 50 lights on it. And there was no price on this. I was thinking in my head, I'm not going to pay over 20 bucks for it. So I took it to a scanner. Turns out this was $34.99. Which I think was not a terrible price. And so Autumn and I will be unboxing and setting this up in a future episode. Our next item, as featured in the video clip that I showed of At Home, this is simply a soap dispenser. I thought it was really nice with the skull driving, hauling a pumpkin in the back. And this runs $9.99 at the At Home store. So the dispenser part's on top. You just screw the top off. Put your soap in there and you're good to go. And this guy will drive your soap to wherever you would like it. Our next item on the list of Halloween haul, number one for 2023, is this rainbow colored skull Halloween mug. Now this, I, uh, I don't drink out of mugs. I'm not a mug guy. Probably will never drink out of this. But I am a Halloween guy, and you're seeing this right, $3.99. I couldn't pass this up, even though I'll probably never use it. I don't know what I'll use it for. Maybe I'll use it for something. Maybe I won't. But $3.99. I wasn't going to pass this one up at the at-home store. Available now, $3.99. Last but not least on my at-home haul, this guy right here. The Grim Reaper tea light holder. He has a price tag of $69.99. And it looks like looks like the name of this piece is Erie Estate, or maybe that's the brand. That's all it says on here. But this guy, I fell in love with this guy the second that I saw him at the store. Came up to it, looked at it, circled back, came back to him. Like, I was really toying with the $69.99 price because that's a lot to pay for just a ceramic thing. I didn't know when I was at the store that it lit up. I was, like, I was so 
much in love with this piece that I didn't even notice this little light up thing. I, I then maybe I did, maybe I just assumed that no duh, this lights up because it's a, two, a tea light holder. So I left the store, ultimately did not buy him. So I was up at the checkout getting the other stuff that I bought and I noticed this little sign that they had on the counter said pay in three. I asked the cashier working there, but I guess he was new or I don't know, because he said he didn't know about it and he could find out. So I did my own research when I got home, got on my computer, checked this guy out. They had some in stock and I elected to pay in three because I had already spent a lot, a lot, a lot of money on villages over the weekend. I probably spent north of a thousand dollars at Michael's on villages and I didn't really want to spend that much more on the weekend. So this guy being 70, I paid in three. So that divvied up the payments. So it lightened the blow a little bit on the cost of this guy. So he, I, he's a battery operated piece, but he doesn't do a whole lot. He did not include batteries for 70. For the sake of time in this video, I already installed the batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on right now and see what he does. He doesn't do a whole lot. And there you go. 70 bucks will get you eyes that light up. So the tea light would go in here. Not really sure where I'm going to display him. So the day after I ordered this online, I got back online and look at this again and check out the details. And I noticed that he's sold out. I don't know if he's sold out across the United States or if he's just sold out at our local at home store. But I'm glad I got him when I did. So on to the next item. I think it's pretty humorous at this point that uh, everything that I have been displaying thus far is battery operated. When a lot of you guys who watch my show regularly know that I am 100% against battery operated items. But for the sake of Halloween and the sake of cool stuff, I'll make an exception. And here's another one. This I got from Michaels. This is simply a Paul Maple Leaf tree. This is $29.99. I got a 20% off coupon that I used for this. And I just got to say again, it sucks that it's battery operated. They could have made a little thing on here, made it adaptable, and that would have been cool. Instead of going the battery operated route, come to the next battery operated item. This is also a Michaels item. This was $19.99 at our local Michaels. This is simply just like a lighted branch type thing. This was actually the first thing I bought for the season this year. You can pull it out and display it as you wish. Again, a drawback being that it is battery operated. In this day and age, battery operated stuff should not exist. This should be like uh, one of the iPhone charger type, uh, whatever those plug, the USB. USB, this is what, that's what this should be, USB. And then also there is nothing to put this in. So you're going to have to have something for this to sit in. For now, I'm just going to nestle it there. Hopefully it stands. And we will move along to, is this the last? Yeah, this is it. All right, this is it. We have here yet another Michael's exclusive item. This being just like a planter type thing. But it's really cool. If you're a wrestling fan like I am, if you see this, can't help but think of Triple H because that's what I thought of. And Triple H always wore this kind of stuff to the ring. So, I don't know. It's just really an artsy type thing. It, I know what it's supposed to be used for, but I don't know what I'm going to use it for because I, I don't have plants or anything. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I do know that it's cool. So... This has a price point of $29.99. This is it. This is it. I mean, this is really it. This is the final, this is the final curtain call. This is the last item of our first wave of Halloween items for 2023. I got this, and I have been looking at this for quite a long time on different outlets online. I looked at this on City Lights Collectibles. I've been watching it on Amazon, hoping the price would drop a little bit. 
price hasn't budged and I don't want to risk it selling out so I paid unfortunately $29 for this little thing from department 56 this is a corn creeper I'm going to bring the camera in a little closer so I can unbox this so this is the corn creeper that I've been looking at and I'm, I'm not lying when I say I've been on the fence about getting this because 30 bucks for just a small thing is a lot of money to ask. This is my very first, believe it or not, the very first Department 56 item I've ever purchased. And we're going to take it out right now. Here's a look at the package. He's a really cool looking thing. That's why being the jack-o'-lantern and pumpkin man that I am, I knew this was a must-have for my collection. And look at the difference in the packaging between Department 56 and Lamax. Right away you can tell this thing was definitely packaged with love. They took the time to enclose this. They actually had an engineer, packaging engineer, go through and make this special foam to enclose the corn creeper in. Pull him out of here. We'll take a good look at him. Sorry, I haven't opened this yet, so I was just admiring it. I'll give you guys a better look at the corn creeper. That is an awesome piece. I can see why Department 56 items cost so much now. This is a quality piece here. I don't think it's made of the same type of materials that Lamax uses. If I'm wrong on that, if this is the same kind of materials, it's definitely a better material, higher quality than Lamax would use. This guy is awesome. I'm glad that I spent the 28 whatever it was for him on Amazon. They do have some available. And now that I've gotten him out of the package, and it's not a stock photo, and it's something that I can see with my own eyes in person, I got to say, he was worth every penny. So go out and get one while they have them in stock. Because this thing's worth it. And that's the corn creeper. Let's see, we got some details on him here in the box. Now that I got a closer look at the box, corn creeper, stock photo, resin. He's made of resin. We're not seeing any. Uh, no, doesn't really tell us. This, oh, there we go. Accessory. He's a six inch figurine. So, six inches is what you get with this guy. Well, that's going to be a wrap on the first Halloween haul of 2023 episode. There's going to be part two, probably part three, maybe even part 100 by the time we're done with the Halloween season. Definitely recommend everything that you see on the table here in front of me. You could get them at either Michael's, Lowe's, or Amazon because that's where this first Halloween haul all came from. Especially recommend this guy. He was the grail piece, if you will, of this particular Halloween haul. He's the newest member of the Halloween family. And if you want to be a member of the Halloween family, don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys are going to be in for a lot of Halloween. A lethal dose the lethal dose of Halloween. So I'll see you guys here on the channel, here on the road to Halloween 2023. So long, everybody.